In Unreal Engine, it is possible to make any object tickable just in a few steps. This, for example, can be quite helpful if you create a custom subsystem for a subsystem type which per default is not tickable. The first thing you have to do is to add the F tickable game object class to your inheritance list. This will basically provide the functionality for ticking your object. However, you at least have to override two functions. First, the tick function itself, which obviously should contain the functionality for ticking the object. The second function you have to implement is the getStatID. The purpose of this function is to assign a unique identification for a tickable object and with the return quick declare cycle stat macro you can create a new tstatID for this class. By implementing these two functions you will already see that your object would automatically tick after being instanced without any further adjustments. However, there are a few additional things you can do. First, there is a chance that this tick function will be called multiple times in a single frame. However, you might want to execute the functionality only once per frame. To achieve this, you can keep track of the current frame in your class, which can be accessed by the G frame counter. Now, the functionality will only be executed the first time you reach a given frame. Further, you can override the function getTickableTickType. Here, you can set your object to either tick always, never, or conditional. With conditional, your object will tick depending on the return value of isTickable. Additionally, you can override functions like isTickable when paused or isTickable in editor. The first one obviously deciding if your object can tick when the game is paused and the second one deciding if your object can tick inside the editor. With that, you should be ready to extend custom classes with tick functionality. Like mentioned, this could be certain subsystems or classes that directly inherit from your object. Like always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe for more Unreal Engine C++ content and see you next time.